Oh, shit, I don't have a count then. Let's go, Sun to Apollo. A new Sunday, new beginnings. I'm playing the easy part right now. Son. What the hell? What? Yeah! What's up everyone and welcome to Sunday with Ola 136. A little bonus intro for you right there. Welcome everyone, hope you're having a good and chill Sunday morning. I'm with my coffee somewhere. I'm wearing my Zelda t-shirt because you know why? Well, Tears of the Kingdom got released this past Friday. How exciting! I actually snagged one of the deluxe edition uh, with, you know, the steel box and the art book and all that. So I'm extremely excited. I haven't received it yet, but I will receive it today. I'm very excited. I think it's funny because I'm plus 40 years and not too many things makes me excited nowadays. But a new Zelda makes me excited. Why? Well, you know why? It's because my son is extremely excited for this game. I mean, he was acing the first... Uh, Breath of the Wild game and he's been waiting for Tears of the Kingdom for a long long time I'm really excited because tonight he's gonna play it I'm gonna sit next to him and we're gonna play it together. It's gonna be amazing I'm really looking forward to that actually super stoked about that. Do you guys remember the Chug Project? No? <laughs> if you forgot about the Chug Project, you know, it's a collection of the Sun with All Riff that I've been doing so far. And there's more coming, okay? Volume 1 is out on Spotify right now. You can click here, you can go listen to it. We're also selling CDs and vinyls and all that. But something new for today that we start selling today are these patches. We now finally have patches for sale. A lot of people have been asking for patches in the merch shop and this is our first one right here. It's the Chug Uterus right there. You can get it from oldanglandshop.com. Look at that. You can put it on your jacket or vest or whatever. You can put it on your... Here! Here's a good spot. Hello! Why didn't I think of that before? That's a great spot right there. Chug Project Patch, oldanglandshop.com. Yeah! Oh shit, new guitars. <laughs> oh, we also have new guitars to talk about. Check this out. I'm actually pretty excited about these two because these... NUTS! <laughs> these two solo guitars that we have right here. AB 2.6 ETN and the AB 2.7 ETFBB. Why I'm excited about these is because both these guitars is in the 2 series and they have an Evertune. So these are our most affordable Evertune equipped guitars right here. And this natural right here is quickly becoming one of my favorite guitars right now. I've been playing it a lot actually. <laughs> Did you hear how heavy that was? Okay, solarguitars.com. Also, I'm drinking out of a Fermas. Like some 42 year old. Alright, enough of an intro, then news. And take a look at that. That's 800,000 subscribers right there. Thank you so much, guys. And thank you for the continued support. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Next step. I mean, it's gonna be 900,000, but next step is 1 million. Let's go! Alright, who does not love Tenacious D and Jack Black, huh? No one, exactly. Well, they just released a new single called Video Games. It's basically a song about how video games are awesome. I figured we watch it together and hopefully this video won't get demonetized. But look at this. If you haven't seen, Jack Black has like a, a, a YouTube channel where he basically plays video games and do short skits and shit. It's a lot of fun. Uh, he's playing Red Dead uh, Redemption 2 a lot. And basically that's what this song is all about. Look at this. Oh, 
Oh, that's cool. Dude, that's a great video, man. <laughs> Jack Black also played Bowser in the new Super Mario movie. That's also a very good song too, man. I, I was sitting in the theater with my whole family and everyone, and uh, I heard a song and it was really beautiful. And now uh, there was a guy who made a rendition of the song where it's basically bitches, 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 and I can't hear anything else now. I can only hear bitches. Let's listen again and see if you can hear it too. I'm sorry. I'm gonna demonetize this video. It might be worth it actually. Do you remember Tom and Lee's sperm house in Calabasas that uh, I covered in a couple of months back? He's trying to sell his house while well, he finally sold his cum house. Okay, with the cum studio in it. Uh, he sells it for 3.65 million. He bought it in 2007 for 5.85. So he basically lost over 2 million on this cum house. Well, good for him that he got it sold. Shame about the 2 million dollar loss. And the cum. Kale Switch Engage, guitarist Adam Dutkiewicz and ex-singer Howard Jones begin recording debut album from New Project. So, uh, you know, the original Kill Switch Engage guys, man. So will we get some uh, Kill Switch style music? Will it sound the same? What, what? It's automatically gonna sound like Kill Switch Engage with Howard on it, you know? So, I mean, that's... I, that's exciting, if you're a fan. Uh, Joe Satriani shares brutal photo of his fingers post-show and seeks advice for the problem he's had ever since he started playing guitar. Getting worse, the maestro wrote of uh, the wear and tear on his fretting hand before adding that it's making look for new ways to play. What the hell is this? Okay, getting worse but making me look for new ways to play. Ever since I started playing guitar, I've had problem maintaining fingertip calluses. Super glue is awesome when things get ugly, but it doesn't last very long and the show must go on. Are there other products that could help? So it's basically asking for advice and this is... Usually, this is very common. I mean, my fingers look like this as well when, uh, you know, I've been playing a lot or recording a lot or doing tours and shit like that. P4 is saying, I have this problem when I tour in dry, cold climate. Super glue, liquid bandage, uh, that's all I know of, other than just good moisturizer is so important too. Lighter gauge strings, okay. Rick Graham is saying, damn! Matteo Sassada says, oof. It looks like all guitar players are feeling the pain right now with uh, Joe Satriani. But that's down to the blood right there. I mean, he has to stop using his ring finger for a while, I guess. It sucks when you're on a tour because the next day you have to perform again. And I mean, Joe Satriani is, is playing a lot of notes. Poor guy, I really hope he uh, finds a solution for this. Electroharmonics, most metal pal yet. The Hell Melter takes the Boss HM2 circuit to new extremes. Okay. Very interesting. Hell Melter, look at that. Uh, hasn't this been done to death a little bit? Where people just take the, the uh, chainsaw tone and add some nuisance to it or nuances to it. I'm thinking immediately about the, you know, the, the and grindstein the and, and all that. It even looks like those pedals as well. That sounds pretty good. Oh, bass. That sounds pretty cool too. Oh, he's playing at the gate. That's a little too much of distortion right there, even for at the gates, man. Well, that's pretty cool. Oh shit, he's playing a solar. I didn't know. Yeah, man! I wasn't aware. I didn't know it was gonna play a solar. That makes me happy. Yeah, that sounds a little bit more like a classic distortion. Not so much chainsaw right there. Can't wait to see this on an Oleg left on a well at Chug. Edit. That's a nasty riff, by the way. Holy shit, very cool. Love to try one out. Alright, last but not least, I figured we'd watch this guy. Playing Metallica. He's finding new and creative ways to uh, do uh, Metallica covers. Mustang! 
no, 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 loco. No te vayas a no te vayas a ¡Oh, más hello, masters! Salchichumbi y palitumbi. ¡Lo, lo, lo, lo! <laughs> seems to be completely insane. What's, what is this even going to prove? I think this guy is from a different planet, to be honest. <laughs> so there you go. TikTok guy. Only Robin 12. Just what we all needed. Dead news. So, a lot of you guys have been asking, what happened to the goats? And with a lot of guys, I mean, uh, like one or two people. <laughs> we're gonna head over to the goats, me and Luis and Pix. Uh, we're gonna head over there, because now there's uh, three new goat Newborn. kids. Newborns. So we're gonna go check them out and maybe hug them. And kiss them. They're called killing in Swedish. Killing. Killing. Hey, little cutie. Oh, isn't that the cutest right there? So fluffy. Hey, boy, they say. Kill him. Oh, they're, they're all guys, by the way, so. Hey, you know. I'm worrying because this is the season of snakes. The only poisonous animal we have, or the only poisonous thing we have. And uh, I mean, they like rocks like this. So, uh, just thinking about those small little baby goats. Whoa. This is one of the moms. Brexit is her name. Dude, that look that he gives me while he's peeing, it's scary. This is Torsten. Torsten? No, hey, Torsten. He was with me for two years. Oh, okay. So two years ago when we had the baby goatlings, two years ago, this was one of them. That uh, Luis... Is it Torsten? Uh, yes, I helped conceiving. Yes. Look how this big he is. This little guy. He's not that little. So the reason why that first little goatling was laying by herself is because the mom usually leaves them alone so they can go eat and then they go back. But uh, it's pretty far away from the rest of the herd. <laughs> what the hell is that thing? That's a dog. <laughs> Pixie's not that cocky. They're all like, what the dog doing? Hey boy. Hey boy. Yeah, I'll do your finger. Go 
Pussy. Ja. Oh. Mm. Det ja. 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 Nu är vi ute. Ja. Oj, oj, oj. Oj, oj. Careful. Oj, nej. Pixel, du sitter fast. Just det. Nej. Vänta, stanna. Pixel. Så, nu. Ja. Mm -hmm. right. Awesome. That was fun. They were so tiny. They were so small. They're only a couple of days old. So it's uh, it's incredible. Like how, how how soon after they're born can they stand and walk? Almost immediately, right? Sorry? Uh, yeah. Like two hours? Wow. Well, it's incredible. So there you go. Adventures with the goats. All right, guys, that has to be it for Sunday with Ola for today. I really hope you enjoyed this little episode. Tomorrow, I'm not sure if we're gonna make... Oh, shit! Three subscribers! I think that's a record. <laughs> we'll have to see about the live stream if it will happen tomorrow or on maybe Wednesday this coming week. We'll have to see. Stay tuned about that. There's more information coming, okay? Thank you so much for tuning in. And also a uh, very big thank you to everyone in the premiere chat. Love you guys, okay? You guys are amazing. Have a great Sunday, everyone. Goodbye. All right, shit. I'm taking the day off. It's time for Zelda, baby. All right, see you on Monday, fuckers. Goodbye. Hi. Don't work too hard, okay? See ya. <laughs> Fuck off. So I'm home with the package, but I'm gonna wait for my son to get back home so we can open it up together. Ah.